Hey guys, we just have two lessons left in unit three. Um, this is 3.9, isosceles and equilateral triangles. And we're going to be using a little bit of algebra to solve for some things um, with triangles that have either two sides congruent or all three sides congruent. So we are going to start with this uh, little diagram here, which says that sides across from congruent angles are congruent. So we're going to start with this uh, diagram on the left. We have triangle XYZ. And I am going to show you that angle Z and angle Y are congruent. And if that is the case, then side XZ is congruent to side YX. So we're going to write that. We're just going to write uh, ZX is equal to Y x in that case so you can mark them you can write it down you can do it both ways okay so that would be an example of an isosceles triangle in an equilateral triangle if you have three congruent angles then you also have three congruent sides that guy is congruent to that guy is congruent to that guy so you could say that side a b is equal to side a c which is equal to side CB. They are all equal to one another. All right, so in these examples, same thing we've been doing. We're going to set up an equation, we're going to solve for x, and then we're going to plug it back in and see um, what else we can figure out. So in the diagram below, we have an isosceles triangle. So we know that this side and this side are congruent. Okay, we don't really know anything about this side yet, so we're going to ignore it. We're just going to do 2x plus 19 equals 4x plus 7. And we're going to solve that. I'm going to kind of cruise through it here. I'm going to start by subtracting 2x from both sides. I'm going to subtract 7 from both sides. So I got 12 equals 2x divided by 2 and 6 is equal to x. Okay, once we have that, we need to substitute it in kind of a whole bunch of places. So one spot is right here, 4 times 6 plus 7. 4 times 6 is 24, uh, and 24 plus 7 is 31. Okay, then we're going to try it up here, 2 times 6 plus 19. Well, 2 times 6 is 12, and 12 plus 19 is 31. So that's good. Um, they were supposed to be congruent. They are congruent. And then we can also use that 6 right here. 6 plus 10 equals 16. So now we have all three of our missing sides, 16, 31, and 31. All right, so this example here is going to take us a little bit of time. We have quite a bit to figure out. So make sure you pause, get this written down, and then uh, hit play so that we can do it together. So we once again have an isosceles triangle, but we have uh, both an X and a Y uh, to figure out here. So I am actually going to start with the Y because I think that's going to be the easiest place to start. You can see that these little tick marks here mean that those sides can, are congruent because it's an isosceles triangle. So I now know that 4Y minus 2 has to be equal to 14. That'll be a pretty easy one to solve. 4y equals 16, divide by 4, so y is equal to 4. So that one's done. Um, we also know that that side had to be 14, so I can just do that right away. 4 times 4 is 16, minus 2 is, is 14. So that's done. Um, now we have to figure out what these, these angles are, or what the x's are there. Well, since those angles are across from congruent sides, we know that they're equal to each other. So we now know that 2x plus 1 has to be equal to 3x minus 4. And then solve that. So I'm going to start by subtracting 2x from both sides. I'm going to add 4 to both sides. And there we go. We got x by itself. 5 is equal to x, or x equals 5. And then last step is to plug that back in to figure out what those missing angles are. So I'm going to do 2 times 5 plus 1. 2 times 5 is 10, and 10 plus 1 is 11, so just 11 degrees. And then over here, we're going to have 3 times 
5 minus 4. Well, 3 times 5 is 15, and 15 minus 4 is 11 degrees. And then one more thing we can do to check our work is we can make sure that all three angles do, in fact, add to 180. So just do a quick check. 158 plus 11 plus 11 is 180 degrees. So I believe that we got that one right. All right, and then last example here. This is a equilateral triangle, right? Um, equilateral or equiangular. If all three sides are the same, then all three angles are also the same. So if one of them is 5x degrees, well, then all three of them are 5x degrees, okay? And then the question is, well, what is, what is x? Okay, a couple ways you could do it. You could do 5x plus 5x plus 5x equals 180. That would work. Or you can just remember that in every single equilateral triangle, all of the angles are 60 degrees. Okay, so really 5x is just equal to 60. Divide by 5 and x is equal to 12. I think that's probably the easiest one way to go about that problem there. All right, so in summary, there's a lot here. You can decide if you want to write this or not. Totally up to you on this one. But equilateral triangles have three congruent sides and three congruent angles. And isosceles just have the two. Two congruent sides across from two congruent angles. If you think you're already pretty comfortable with that, maybe you can skip the summary on this one.